Hey guys, Lone Wolf here. This is going to be a somewhat shorter commentary than my last one, but hopefully it'll be useful nonetheless. At this late stage in Battlefield 4's life cycle, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of easy and quick to implement tips and tricks that experienced players haven't already tried. This being said, I do feel like the use of a battle screen may be one of the few exceptions, and yet I see a lot of players don't use one. Now, in fairness, setting up a battle screen is either completely practical for you or completely ridiculous, depending on your situation. It does require a second screen of some sort, so either a second monitor, or a second PC like a laptop, or a tablet running Android or iOS, and if you don't actually happen to have one of these things, then it's really not worth going out and buying one, it doesn't yield that much of an advantage. And if it did, then that would kind of be pay to win, wouldn't it? So it's probably a good thing it doesn't. However, this isn't to say I think it has no value, and I think there's a lot of people out there who have access to one of these pieces of hardware, and yet don't use it because they either underappreciate it or simply forgot that the feature was there. At this point, I should probably run down exactly what a battle screen does for those of you who weren't aware or have forgotten. The battle screen is essentially like a very large minimap. It shows all those usual elements, so objective markers, position of your friendlies, position of spotted enemies, plus it also gives an indication of your squad mate's health status. It works very similarly to pressing M on the keyboard as a PC player. It's that same map, it's a full overview, not just your immediate periphery. For that reason, I feel like its advantages over the minimap are pretty obvious. The minimap is great if you want to know exactly what's going on around you, and let's say you want to hunt down a target who's perhaps 10 to 20 meters away from you. The minimap is great, but if you want a wider overview of exactly what's going on at the battlefield at any one time, the battle screen is really an excellent go-to. Pressing M is fine, but it does actually obstruct your vision in a way that battle screen won't. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh yes, but you need to look away to see the battle screen. And that's true. You do have to look away, but it isn't actually obstructing your vision. So while you look to your left, right, up or down, depending on where you position the battle screen, you are still aware in the corner of your vision of exactly what's going on to your avatar on screen, which means you're much less likely to die. You're not going to look at the battle screen when you're in combat anyway. It's not like the minimap, and really you shouldn't be looking at the minimap if you're actually getting shot at that particular second. It's very much of an in-between combat thing. The battle screen is an out-of-combat check. You look at the battle screen to see what's going on and work out exactly what your next move is going to be. I just feel like it keeps me much more aware of the situation as a whole and I never feel caught off guard by an enemy team capturing objectives or flanking around behind us. Now there is an argument to be made that all this information is already accessible to me on my primary monitor in the form of the minimap, the objective indicator just above that and the primary main map that you can bring up by pressing M. This is all true, but all this information is collated down into one battle screen that's easy, it's not over cluttered on a second monitor that you can simply move your eyes to look at. I find this much easier to use and I would encourage all the rest of you to use it if you can. You can access the battle screen either through the Battlelog app for your tablet or through the Battlelog website. If you're going to use the website, I recommend you create a duplicate tab, one for the battle screen and another to let you edit your classes in between rounds. While you're in game, at the bottom of the Battlelog website there'll be a blue bar showing you very helpfully that you're in game and also which server you're on. Next to that will be some buttons and one of them is to open the battle screen. This will link you directly there. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this has been useful, at the very least interesting, and I'll see you next time.